So here we go then, not so way to Grimsby. Today's game is only the second time in English football where a fixture will be played in the first, second, third, fourth and fifth tiers. The first was Luton versus Oxford. Grimsby have a 100% home record, but they did lose in midweek away at Wealdstone. Knots have taken seven points from their last three league games. But our mentality must remain strong. And we also must remain resilient in these games against promotion rivals. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. So, yeah, we've won the quiz, me and Josh, and this is what we've won. I'm giving it to Josh because I once, I once beat him on the quiz by one point away at Dover once and I want to sign Sam Osborne point so yeah it's only fair if I return the favour. After the scathing review I gave Burger King the last time I went on an away day I've kind of you know gone and got another one don't know why but there we go yeah we're not that far away well it's not a fault let's be honest it's not an away day that's it's not Weymouth let's put it that way the last few visits to Blundell Park haven't been great, to put it to put it one way. I've been to Blundell Park three times before. The 2-0 in January 2017 was, well, I came back from that thinking we were relegated. The 2-1 in April of 2018 was, I was gutted to be honest. The end of, our promotion hopes were over after that, I think. That was... The team probably wasn't good enough to go up to League One, but that's the day we no longer could automatically get promoted and Wickham went up instead. And then the last time we went, the 4-0 defeat was one of the worst away days of all time. It was cold, it was miserable. We lost 4-0, we were 2-0 down I think at half time. The defending was terrible. And then we all just started singing all knots, aren't we, for the last 15 minutes. Really, with Vincent O'Brien and Palmer all in the midfield, Rodriguez Woodson, you, you, you know, you know, you know the you know the drill by now. In, it's still nil nil. Not much, not much to say so far. Not, um, not had an early corner which came to nothing. And then Grimsby just had a free kick, just go wide. Not started a bit nervously, giving the ball away, careless passing. But the game seems to have settled on a bit more now. But yeah, nothing clear cut either way for both sides. Well, we're lacking a bit of composure 
in some of our passes. We get a good like few few passes to get going, and then we just give it away needlessly. Kelly Evans, you know, put his body on the line at the back post to keep one out, even if it was from a tight angle. But there's not been many clear-cut chances. If, if anyone has been more likely to score, it is Grimsby. But we're always a second-half team. We always say it. We are FC second-half. Good ball! Yes! Oh, oh quick it to us. Oh. Anyways, 65 minutes in, nil-nil. Not so bad, the bear on it second half so far. We've got the main and Roberts on. We've gone, it's allowed us to attack a bit more, press a bit more. And, you know, we've had a bit more of an attack of edge to us this half over than in the first half. The main and Roberts are really helping us, you know, trying to drive at their defence. We've still got to be careful of them on the counter. They're still a very strong, a very strong team. And you've got to get it to Grimsby, they are well drilled, they are very well organised. We just can't, we just can't keep giving away, on, can't keep giving away possession so unnecessarily. So yeah, um, what do we say about that? What do we say about that? Um, <laughs> Look, I'm on board. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Passion, absolute passion. The the inversional fist bump is just like a. It's just common now. It's fantastic. Them type of games to win it like that. It's the best way. The best way to win a promotion clash is like that. The substitutions at half time I must praise Ian Birchnell for because Aaron the main and Cal Roberts when they came on allowed us a lot more. They allowed us to press Grimsby back a lot more and it really gave them something to think about because in the first half we were kind of a bit a bit On the front foot we weren't quite as good really. We really couldn't produce like you know, couldn't string too many attacks together. And second off we got back into it and got got on the front foot a bit more. And then Grimsby started to have a bit started to have, you know, their that started to have a bit of momentum and they so nearly took the lead. 
and then Ruben Rodriguez does that in the last minute. I can't believe it. Absolute scenes. It wasn't the attack today that was the best bit. We just defended resolutely. Wow, what a day, <laughs> what a day. By no means Knotts' greatest performance, by no means were we at our best. But this is what I mean by say, what I meant by at the start of the day saying, you know, we've got to stay strong mentally and we've got to be resilient. Today, we did both and we got the winner late on. Did we deserve it? No. D d was a draw a fair result? <sighs> Maybe. I didn't think many clear cut chances were created throughout the game, in my opinion. You know, obviously they hit the bar. Kelly Evans had the block at the back post. They might have had one second off. I couldn't quite see, you know, much from the away end um, to the to the other side of the pitch in the second half. The way Grimsby were kicking, I think they might have had one. Not, I'm not too sure really. Uh, we had Roberts's shot, which was easily saved. And then the chance at the end, which fell so nicely to Ruben Rodriguez, and it's always nice to, always nice for the ball to actually drop to a Knox player for once. And it's us who shit out the away win, and it's us who, and for you know what, for a while Knox have been like this in these big games. We just crumble under the pressure. Not today. Not this team. We stayed strong, we were resilient, we dealt with everything Grimsby threw at us. This team has, at the minute, you know, we we grind out that draw at Wrexham. We beat Stockport, we've now beaten Grimsby. We And sometimes this season, even when we haven't been at our best, we've still won. We are grinding out results and it's fantastic to see. And I think it's an advantage that this team has over the teams that we've had in our previous two National League seasons. Just absolute scenes. The, the away following from Notts today was fantastic. A, fa a brilliant atmosphere as well. Next week I won't be at the Rochdale game because I'm away for the weekend. But yeah, after that we go to Solihull, Eastleigh, Bournemouth, Dagenham, Chesterfield, Southend, and we continue onwards in the National League. We have the FA Cup next. But from then on, it's National League. And yeah, we are in this promotion race. We are in this promotion battle. Let's keep going. Because we're on the march. Ian Birchnell. What a man. Keep producing these performances, keep producing this good run of form. Seven points from promotion rivals Stockport, Bromley and Grimsby within a week. That is absolutely quality. Keep this going and we will be up there at the end of the season. Yes, we didn't play our best, but who cares? We've won. You're not always going to play at your best. So, take the points whilst you can. I've I've enjoyed today so much. And I hope you not son, you fellow not sons as well have enjoyed it just as much. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Say subscribe if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. This vlog will be late out. This is currently Saturday evening. This is going to be a late one. But yeah, be safe. Be champions. And as always, Toulouse.